The Le Champ excursion was an incredibly rare geological event where the Earth's poles switched places. Normally, our Earth's core generates a magnetic field that protects our planet from harmful radiation from the cosmos and our sun. But 42,000 years ago, as strange as this may sound, Earth's magnetic north and south swapped. The change lasted just one or 2,000 years. But during that time, our protective magnetic shield was dramatically weakened, resulting in a massive bombardment of radiation from space. Until recently, the precise timing of this event was hard to pin down. But in 2019, an extraordinary fossil was discovered in New Zealand which held the answer, and with it, perhaps, the ultimate clue to megafauna extinction. These pieces of kauri that we have in the archive represent unique windows that we can peer into for Earth's history. This cross-section of a kauri tree is over 42,000 years old, preserved in a bog until a few years ago when it was discovered during excavations for a geothermal power plant. Cowrie tree is a unique type of conifer that grows in the northern part of New Zealand. And it's an um, incredibly important tree for climate science because we have preserved cowrie that date back tens of thousands of years. About 41,000 years ago is somewhere in this range of, of the tree. So basically, for climate scientist Drew Laurie, um, it's not well, just a tree. Like 15, it's a years gold of age, mine. At least. This ancient kauri represents the truest reflection of atmospheric radiocarbon that we have on the planet. The rings of the kauri tree reveal significant change in the Earth's atmosphere 42,000 years ago. We looked at the atmospheric radiocarbon signature through the time period that this tree lived, and what we can see is an enrichment of radiocarbon that spikes quite significantly to nearly 800 uh, per mil. That's the strongest radiocarbon signature that we have any time in the last 50,000 years. The increase in radiocarbon was the clue scientists were looking for indicating more radiation from space was penetrating Earth's atmosphere. The radiocarbon signatures in the Nafa Kauri tell us that the Earth's magnetic field weakened greatly during the time of the Le Champs excursion, to the point where we probably barely had a protective magnetic field. But what would a weakened magnetic field have meant for life on Earth during this time. So one question is, okay, is this the smoking gun that explains the megafaunal extinction? It's a controversial hypothesis, but for evolutionary biologist Alan Cooper, the theory offers an intriguing picture of how devastating the effects could have been. Suddenly, with the magnetic field turned off, that ionizing radiation is penetrating right into the Earth it's doing enormous damage to the ozone layer. We think it probably removes it completely, but the ozone layer is completely gone. At that point, ultraviolet light's coming, charging in, causing major climactic shifts. One theory, which I think might be right, is that ionization in the atmosphere causes clouds as well. You actually get cloud cover building up. And clouds are a really good way of cooling something down. They reflect sunlight. As a result, the surface underneath is not getting that heat down to surface level, cooling and drying. Why would this cause megafaunal extinctions? Why in Australia would the impacts be so bad? Well, one of the things about Australia is the aridity. There's the difficulty of water as a resource. Australia is already starting to dry out. The lakes are starting to dry up. And one of the things we think has happened is that the magnetic excursion causes sudden cooling. Cooling is nearly always associated with dryness. You get less water coming off the ocean to form rain, so the continent starts drying out. Suddenly, you've got this major impact 
of cold, dusty, sandy, think of Mad Max type environment. Now, in other parts of the world, the megafauna can move. They can migrate to try and deal with these changing conditions. The problem in Australia, you're stuck there. The environment's shifting, the plants are changing from trees to more grasses. Fires going off from the lightning coming down from the ionized atmosphere. And the megafauna are suddenly being confronted with all these changes. 